everybody, Matt here for AVC and welcome back to the shop. Today we're showing you how to install our blackout slider door rail. Let's get to work. If you've been following our channel, then you probably have seen the video where we changed out this rail on this van. Uh, it was actually a pretty popular short and after that response, we thought this would be a pretty cool service to offer our DIY community. Here's how it works. We are gonna send you a Ford OEM slider door rail that we have pre-powder coated black. You're gonna swap it out with a silver rail on your van and then send us your core back so we can have it powder coated and pass it on to the next van owner. We're also going to send you all the extra parts that you're gonna use while you're installing this rail. Now, if you do the install correctly, you don't need any of these parts, but we're gonna send them to you just in case so that if you do need one of these things, like you break a little Christmas tree pin here, you have those so that you can get that job done in about 30 minutes. Now, you could do this job at home, take your slider door rail off, send it to your local powder coater, get that job done, you get it back and reinstall it. But while this rail is off at powder coat, you actually can't use your slider door because the weight of that door is supported by your rail. So instead of waiting a couple of weeks while this is off at powder coat, we're offering this to you as a service. A quick warning before we get started, make sure you follow the steps in the exact order that we're doing them today. Once we take this rail off, there's nothing that's supporting the backside of this sliding door. So if you accidentally open it during the process, nothing's holding up the back and it could damage the door or your van. With that out of the way, let's get to work. Step one is gonna be grabbing your T30 and taking out this front bolt here that secures the front of that door rail. Now, this is the only bolt that we're going to remove while the door is open. At this point, we're gonna close the door. We're gonna leave that shut until all the rest of the hardware is reinstalled. Next, we're gonna be popping off this black cover. And the only thing that I've actually broken during this install were these little white Christmas trees on the inside. So I wanted to show you where they're located so we can pull this cover off nice and gently. Okay, those two popped out, okay. And we're gonna set that aside. Now we're inside the van and we're gonna grab a deep well 10 millimeter socket and we're gonna pull off the five bolts that secure that rail to the side of our van. Now, a big reason we're including all that extra hardware in the kit is not because you need it for install, but it's just in case you lose something. And these little nylock 10 mil nuts, if you drop one of these inside the wall, this is totally encapsulated. So it could be probably a nightmare to fish these things out. And I'm always paranoid when I'm swapping them out here at the shop. So we include some extras just so you can get this job done in one shot. And with that last one out, we're ready to jump outside the van and swap our rails. With all of our hardware off this rail, we can now pull it off the van and slide it from those wheels on the sliding door. Now we're gonna swap these little foamies off of our old rail and onto our new rail before we reinstall. So I'm gonna reach in here with my popper tool and I'm just gonna pull this spring-loaded wheel back so that I can insert my slider rail in between. Now, before we go back inside and install that interior hardware, I actually like to get this black plastic piece back in place. And that's so that I can actually set the height of my rail here at the back of the van. Before I've installed these and I forgot to bring this up and so you can see a little gap at the top and it just didn't look pro. We can hold this up into place and we can set our Torx screw and that'll hold the back of this rail up so that it looks good and nice and centered on that pocket. We're back inside the van and we're ready to install our 10 millimeter nylocks. Now that all of our hardware is replaced again, remember, don't open this door until all that hardware is replaced. We can go ahead, we can open that door and we can reinstall our very last bolt here. Now, mine has sagged a little bit, so I'm just gonna use one of my panel poppers and wedge it up a little bit so I can recenter that bolt in there nice and easy. With that last bolt installed, this job is done. Don't forget, you can pick up your own blackout slider rail at abcrig.com, or you can check the link in the description below. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.